Hi there, Laura Dankoff here from PathToHealthAndHealing.com. Today I want to talk to you about your thyroid. In fact, do you feel like your thyroid condition is not being addressed fully? This is a common complaint I hear, particularly from women that I have treated over the years, that they go to the healthcare provider and they have all the classic symptoms of hypothyroidism. They get their labs checked and they're told that they're fine, but yet they feel miserable. So what are some of the causes that can be affecting your thyroid health that likely are not even being addressed? Did you know that there is a strong relationship between the liver, the adrenals, the gut, and the pancreas and your thyroid health? This is something you likely haven't heard or that's been discussed with you um, when you are seeking help for your condition. The thyroid protocol that you need should be also addressing many of these things. Now, before I go into some of these things, I do need to give my loving disclaimer that the information I'm about to share with you is for educational and information purposes only and is not a replacement for seeking appropriate medical care. So what are some ways that we can look at some root cause things that may improve your thyroid health? Did you know that excess cortisol from the adrenals can lower your thyroid function? So if you're really stressed out and you have high cortisol levels, that can be counterproductive to the production of your thyroid hormone function. Also, did you know that the liver is very important to your thyroid health as well? It helps convert T4 to T3. And this is very important because we need certain nutrients um, that our liver uses to help with this whole process as well. <clears throat> and also something called phase one and phase two uh, liver detoxification requires nutrients such as B vitamins and vitamin D, selenium, zinc, or just some of the key nutrients that are important to your thyroid health. Not only that, your gut health is very important. So if you don't have a healthy gut microbiome or the bacteria bacteria in your gut, this is also important to help with the conversion of T4 to T3. Gut bacteria also influences, uh, has an influence on the what we call the HPA axis or the hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis. So that's where the brain is telling your thyroid what it needs to do. It's a message system, kind of like a feedback loop that needs to be in place. So if there's an imbalance going on in this feedback loop, maybe because the gut bacteria are not balanced. I always say all healing starts in the gut, and this would be another example of that. Then this conversion process of the T4 to T3 can be impaired. Another factor is excess insulin can adversely affect thyroid function by, again, influencing the HPT or hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis. So what can you do to start helping your thyroid health? Start with your nutrition. You want to eat a diet that consists of real whole organic food and start incorporating some sea vegetables that are a natural source of iodine without overdoing it such as nori, kelp, dulce, and also coconut oils. Um, very good anti-inflammatory and just as a healthy brain food as well. You want to also eat liver-friendly foods such as kale and broccoli. Now, some people say, well, I heard that broccoli, I shouldn't have broccoli if I have a thyroid condition because it's a goitrogen, meaning it can uh, affect thyroid hormone production. Well, you, you would really have to consume an enormous amount of goitrogen-rich foods such as broccoli for that to have an impact. The, the benefits of broccoli and the amount that you're likely consuming on a daily basis aren't going to adversely affect your thyroid and are packed with nutrients. Other foods are garlics and onions, apples, beets, lemons, limes, berries, Jerusalem artichoke um, are all really good. Not only are they healthy foods for your liver, but they're healthy foods for your gut as well. And as you remember, the liver and the gut health are very important to your thyroid health and the signals that come from your brain. Then you want to make sure you are getting a lot of fiber in, in 
in those foods that I mentioned. Sometimes you may need a probiotic and also prebiotic foods that help nourish the gut microbiome. And then you want to um, work on stress. That's a tough one for all of us is managing that stress. And there are different ways to do that. It means getting out in nature, doing slow, deep breathing exercises, learning what to say no to, making sure you're getting plenty of sleep at night. And sometimes you need help from some adaptogenic herbs, such as maca and schizandra and ashwagandha are good examples of this. So pick things that you like, work on relaxation, and finding ways to lower your stress. Because when your stress is lower, then your cortisol is not going to be high, your blood sugar is not going to be elevated, and these are things, as I mentioned, that can impact thyroid health. Now, if you'd like to learn more, please visit me over at pathtohealthandhealing.com, and also I'll put a link below to a program that I do offer on thyroid health called Revitalize Your Thyroid Program. And just for being here, I'm going to offer you $100 off that program with the link provided. And I would love it if you would like, share this video with others that you feel may benefit. All right, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.